30 pounds from Mille Rock, Wisconsin. He is that freaking guy, Rick! <laughs> Weighing in at 265 pounds from the island of Cuba, he is the mercenary pitbull, Romeo Cavado! Trying to go for not just the combat, but maybe just gold in general. I mean, I'm sure he wants uh, Damien Angel's belt to show that he's not, he's more than just the ACW combat champion. You know what I mean? True. He can do more than just hardcore stuff. True. But I think you would agree that when it comes to combat champions in this company, there are none better. It's a hard argument to make. It I really mean, is. Cavedo is one of the absolute best we've had as combat oh, champion. Is. And now looking for some respect. Got denied the respect at the end of the match with Troy Hollywood. But he got it in the beginning. That's what was so tricky. He somehow lost Troy Hollywood's respect throughout the match. I don't know. That was a hell of a match, Romero. They beat the balls off each other. And now Stephen Freck. He goes for it. I goes like for it. the handshake. All right. Yeah. Mutual respect. I like it. And again, that is a huge factor of the proving ground. Not just about gold, not just about winning the hearts of the fans. It's about respect, respect of your peers, respect to wrestling in general, and a couple of interesting characters we've got here tonight. Yeah, to say the least. Frick is definitely an interesting character, as you put it. And yep. now, I agree. Cavedo eyeing his target here. Rick trying to, uh, I guess, shake the cobwebs out. Collar he and looks elbow. like a man possessed. Well, it, the argument could be made that he was for a time. Clean break from Frick, showing he is not afraid of the mercenary pit bull. And, ooh! Mm, I like some respect there. I'll say so much for respect. Oh my oh. god! What a shoulder tackle out of the mercenary pitbull. Jesus. Pit or Jesus. The well, I mean, that's true. And you can see his eyes scanning. I'm telling you, man, Cavedo's a different breed. Slap from Frick, and now Frick. That's not going to help his cause. No, maybe not. Ooh, went for the shoulder tackle and got knocked down from the core strength of one, Romeo Cavedo. Frick definitely regrouping, saying, you know what? Maybe I need to take off. Oh, see, taking off that shirt was not necessarily a good idea when you're going against Cabeda. Oh, and you know it's coming with the whoop. Frick keeps taking uh, damage here and keeps losing parts of his attire. Oh. I shudder to think what's going to happen if Cabeda hits him with a finisher, but nevertheless, Frick's still kicking out of two here. Ooh, big shot out of Frick. <laughs> Ooh, another huge chop. And you know, Christian, the interesting thing I, I never considered is how similar in build Frick is to Cavedo. Both men around the same weight. Cavedo's got him beat by about 25, maybe 30 pounds. Long hair, intense eyes. These guys are in a well, different world. Frick's got intense eyes, but that's because he's haunted. Well, that's true. That has nothing to do with determination or being just pissed off. That's he doesn't true. even know what's going on in his own head. That could be. Well, there's nothing more dangerous. European uppercut sending Cavedo to the ropes. And yet again, those are some hard shots. Well, we know that Cavedo is a pit bull, but I don't know, man. There's nothing crazier than a mad dog, and that, I think, describes young Freck. Maybe they could be part of a pack. That's well, I mean, true. Yeah, but oh. the lead dog, the view never changes, Romero. Right you are, Christian. And uh, Cavedo firmly in the driver's seat. Very impressive from Frick, able to step, keep his own against the mercenary pit bull. 
When I saw this lineup, I kind of thought in the back of my mind that Cavedo might just run through the young guy, but... Ooh! Oh, boy. And, uh, Christian, you mentioned it earlier. Cavedo establishing he is leader of the pack here. He is top dog, as it were. <laughs> He's the chop dog from all those the knife edge chops. And both men... He's smacking the crap out of him. See that? Smacking the taste out of each other's mouths. I say we throw a bone in there and watch him just go at oh, it. Oh, I, I shudder to think while that would turn out. <laughs> it's become a dog kennel match in front of our eyes here. It's now, a dog eat dog match. That is exactly what it is, Christian. And both these men struggling. Oh, Cavedo's got the energy. You can see it. He's starting to vibrate. I don't know what that means, but I think the hair on his back is standing up. Oof, and what another chop, but... Oh, wow! Rick trying to show he has not been neutered by the Clover Clan. These two guys, again, could be future combat champions. Oh, what a knee from Cavedo. Wow. Frick catching him in midair, almost in a side spear there. Hook the leg. What the hell is getting into Frick lately? He's I doing do an amazing know. job. I cannot believe I'm saying this. This could go either way now, folks. See, here's what bothers me, though. He still has that look of crazy, yet he's doing all these new moves. Does he know what he's doing, or is he possessed? He's crazy like a fox, Christian. Oh, that's like another dog. Oh, kind of similar. This is canine in nature. Sure. And now Kent telling Freck to give Cavedo some room to breathe. Got to make sure he's willing to continue here. And now. Frick showing. Oh, that's cruelty, Dad. That's true. Michael Frick, as it were. And now Frick showing Cavedo that he's not afraid of the mercenary pit bull. And again, nothing but impressed from both men. Oh, up and down! Wow. That's a lot of weight to be getting up like that. I got to give it to Frick. Side slam Uranagi there. Very impressive. But he Cavedo. Us some good stuff, man. Not enough to keep Cavedo down, but. Cavedo may be rethinking the strategy going in here. I'm just wondering if Cavedo still has a, a concussion from last week. Could be, yeah, that headbutt from hell. The headbutt heard around the world. From him in Hollywood. God. What a match. I got to say, early contestant for potential match of the year that was. That was a great match. And now Frick may be looking to end this thing. Cavedo. I disagree, Romeo. He's proven a lot to a lot of people right now, including me. Cavedo playing mind games here. Yeah, well. Unfortunately for <laughs> or uh, Romeo, that's like kicking a child with Frick. Well, I mean, he's not all there. Frick is a very troubled individual. It's like taking away his teddy bear. Look at him. He's distraught. Frick's got to regroup the how, who knows how many personalities are in there. He's got to get the team back together. And now, wait well, a minute. Frick, get a meeting in your head and get everybody on board. How many personalities do you think he's got now? Oh, who knows? I just hope he's got a PowerPoint to try to get them all on the same page. Ooh, if we can get Damian Angel and him together, it's a mind party. Oh, Lord. And now, Frick back in this thing. He is focused up. He's got the team together. Well, apparently, he's got the violent one on the front burner right now. Whoa, 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 Frick. Come on, back it up, back it up. And uh, Cavedo might have struck a nerve here. He sure did, and which is both good and bad for Cavedo because, yeah, he's getting him to get off his own game plan. Once, that, once Frick snaps, it's hard for him to even pay attention to the rules. He kind of blacks out and goes into a thing. Right you are. Big headbutt from Frick. Maybe taking your advice. Maybe trying to go with uh, capitalizing on that head trauma from last week. Yeah, if it works for you. Oh, boy. Here's a pit bull power bomb. Oh, buckle buster. Oh, God. Jesus. Just the back of Frick's head. And back oh, oh, what a clothesline. That freak a flip. 
He nearly turned that kid inside out. He sure did. And now, Christian, the question becomes, which of these two men want this more? And now both men back to vertical. Oh, big shot from Frick. The return serve from Cavedo. And Christian, it's hard to tell who's got the advantage here. There really isn't one. Neither one of these guys has the advantage right now. They're both getting a hell beat out of them. <laughs> Equally matched, which again, I don't think anybody was expecting. No, least of all me. Like, I mean, Look, I don't agree with you very much, but I'll be damned if I didn't think the same thing, that Cavedo was just going to run through Frick <laughs> like some bad Taco Bell. Okay. You're, you're, you are a that poet, has Christian. has nothing to do and what, with his heritage. What a close line. Whoa! That leg lariat. Oh, man, did you hear that? That sound was bouncing off the walls here, just like Frick's head was bouncing off the canvas. My God. And Cavedo may be looking to end this thing. Wait a minute, reversal from Frick. Huge Ooh. spine buster. One of the best in the business. Hook the leg, lateral press, still just a two count. And these two once again, putting it all on the line here, folks. And Christian, the question becomes, Cavedo, the ring vet here compared to Frick. How many more moves does Frick know? Well, like I said, when the Clover Clan used to take him out back to the beating shed, I'm sure he learned a few things. Oh! Suplex neck breaker there. Two. Oh, I thought that was going to do it. Oh, that might do it. Good Lord, what a super kick. Nobody could take that much abuse. Oh! Whoa, are you out of your mind? I think Frick's out of his mind. Come on, Frick! Man, to, to quote more a, balls and brains. To it? quote a better man, business has just picked up, folks. And even Cavedo is shocked. But Christian, you might have nailed it earlier. Do we even know if Frick is aware of what he's doing right now? I don't even think he knows where he is right now. After a couple of those shots, I wouldn't blame him. Now Cavedo, high redistic, what? <laughs> the height that he can get on that scissor kick. That Liu Kang bicycle kick out of nowhere. That's a taint terror right there. That is exactly what that is, and he hit it right on the money. And now, oh, no. top rope. Going for the rafters. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, the whole ring shook, Jesus. That is nearly 600 pounds slamming onto the canvas. Can Man, Frick do it? Can he make the pin? I feel bad for the ref if he were to get uh, caught up in that rumble. Jesus. Count of two. Is this it? Is this it? That is about as close to three as you get, folks. I am impressed as hell with Frick right now, Romero. This is quickly becoming a showcase of a lifetime for young Stephen Frick. Now you, okay, I was gonna say, you can't see it from the camera side, but he had his arm pinned. He wasn't going anywhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. The strength of Cavedo. Rolling Samoan drop. A side moonsault! But Frick brought the knees! I know, he, he scattered it. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, oh. My God. Frick just crumbled. That's Not even it. as close as the rope would have saved him from that one. Here is your winner, Romeo Cavedo! My God. What a showcase from both men here, Christian. That was incredible. I'm telling you, Frick was unconscious on that one. He was so close to the rope, had no idea. I sold myself.